Naomi will play against uh, Petra first time in this final. So, what thing about the key point for beating Petra? So, you know, she has a big sub ready or what do you think about it? Yeah, um, I kind of want her to approach the match like, you know, she approached Pliskova, you know, she's also a big server, just um, kind of like the opposite because she's a lefty. But um, same mindset, you know, both of them are very dangerous off the first two, three shots. But I do believe once the rally keeps going, um, Naomi, with her current state of mind and physique, has the upper hand, so, yeah. Which match do you think is the best Naomi's match so far? And could you explain why? In this tournament? Yeah, in this tournament. Uh, it's hard to say. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, the Suwei match, you know, she was down so much, you know, and came back. I think that took incredible effort. Um, it took something else, you know. Then against Vitolina, she played so good. Me, I personally always like the matches where things don't go as well and she ends up winning but um, you know you would have to ask Naomi I think she can rate her matches better than I can from the outside. Sasha the history of tennis is filled with young players who win a major and then they struggle with the attention and the expectations clearly Naomi hasn't what is it about her that has enabled her to avoid that? Track? Yeah she um, you know she really wants it you know, people say they want it, but she really wants to. You know, she um, we had an unbelievable great season last year, but um, after having just two weeks break, you know, she came back and showed up and um, really worked her butt off. And um, yeah, she she's a hard worker and 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 she wants to be here. That's why she's here. Do you think it helps that she seems process oriented? The, that the result, it's like stay on the process and the results will take care of themselves or um yeah i just think that you know also how she's been raised you know from home like with her parents how humble she is um with our team around us you know with um with abdul with um with christy and um you know just the way we are i think that um i think that all of it putting it together you know and then having an athlete like naomi I think that um, I think that that maybe makes a difference. Um, a few years ago, I'm sure you're aware, there was the advent of the super coach, the, the big name coaches coming in. The now, <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. The super coaches, people like Lendl, Edberg was coaching uh, Federer. Okay. <clears throat> now it appears to be going the other way. There's people like you. There's Andy Battles with Svitolina in the men's game. Vida has gone back with uh, with Djokovic. W what is your concept of, of coming into coaching? I mean, I just know that yeah, some of some of the gentlemen you named, um, they were incredible players, and I have nothing but the utmost respect for them. I do believe it's hard for, you know, if you're a player, you have to be very selfish, and you have to be selfish for a very long time, and I believe that some players, if they do want to start coaching, they find it hard to dedicate their life, schedule, and everything for someone else. So I think that maybe that's a difficult process for them. But, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just happy I'm being successful with Naomi, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for Andy. He's a great guy. He deserves it too. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. Sorry. And following this question, what do, would you say that you bring to the game of Naomi since, like, since you work with her? What, what was your your benefits to, to our game? I mean, you know, from the very beginning, I she was a big hitter. I didn't have to teach her how to hit the ball or anything, you know. Maybe it was a little bit more of like telling her that there's other things out there than just hitting really hard. You know, we worked on the angles. We worked on, you know, just a little bit more of everything, slicing, you know, kind of like wanted to come in a little bit more. But, um, yeah, just a little bit of everything, and then the other the other thing was um, the fitness, you know, where um, this young gentleman comes in, and um, you know where Abdul is out of it, but yeah, this is where you know this was one of the biggest assets in her game, I believe, you know, and um, if a power hitter like that can move, 
like someone who is defensive, yeah, the opponent's going to have to play really well. Uh, Sasha, um, just a question about just obviously the matchup on Saturday in terms of Kvitova being left-handed. Naomi hasn't played a ton of lefties before. How do you prep somebody in 48 hours to kind of get used to obviously just playing lefty, but also the type of ball that, that Petra can hit as a lefty? Yeah, um, thankfully, you know, she's very good at that. She adjusts pretty well. Um, she reads the opponent actually pretty well, so it makes my job a lot easier. Um, we had a lefty out today just to hit a couple of serves to her, you know, just to get ready a little bit. But, um, yeah, thankfully she's she's just so good at picking this up and hopefully it'll work out tomorrow. Uh, Sasha, uh, obviously you've been named Coach of the Year. Um, what does it mean for you? Does it give you a little bit of extra pressure and somehow takes it away from her? No. <laughs> no, I'm... Um, yeah, of course, it's. Um, I feel honored and, you know, blessed. But um, like I always say, I think it's a coach of the year. It's really just our whole team did such an amazing job last year, continuing this year, you know. Um, it's a whole team effort. And, you know, you need to have a player who, who wants to be better, who wants to do better, who wants to be open-minded and listens. So I kind of just put some pieces together and... Um, no, there's no pressure. Like, you know, I'm, I'm doing my job day in, day out. Help try to help her as much as I can. Same as everybody else on the team. And, um, yeah, that's why it's so beautiful. So, uh, Naomi said the reason that she couldn't win, the, uh, she lost in the Brisbane, is she was wanting that title so badly that she couldn't focus on uh, the each match, even though she was playing uh, semi semifinals. And uh, she learns a lot of things from that, you know, uh, Brisbane. So I was wondering, after that loss, did you talk to her and teach her some spe specific things? <clears throat> yeah, I always think you learn, you know, you learn more from your losses than from your wins. And Naomi is definitely one of those person as well, you know. Um, she said it herself, I think as she said it yesterday in her press conference as I watched it. Um, we had a little, yeah, we had a little chat together, you know, with our team after the match where we sat down, you know, obviously she takes losses very hard because it means a lot to her and she works really hard to keep winning and wants to win every match. But um, there is, um, there's not so much I have to say afterwards. It's just more of like, you know, just kind of like emotional management, just to be there for her and tell her that it's all right. And, you know, losses happen to everybody. You can't win every match. <laughs> that you want, you know, that you ever play. But um, thankfully, she learns from it a lot, and it shows here, yeah. Last question. How different is Naomi as a, as a person and as a player now than she was in New York? Then from New York? It's only like three, four months, like, <laughs> you don't change it. No, no, no. She's still the same. Like that's that's the beauty about her. You know, she's still the same girl that she was, yeah, even a year ago. So in my mind, at least she didn't change. You know, um, maybe she's a little bit more open to you guys. You know, used to more crowd and questions. But um, you know, on court, off court. I mean, on court, she's more confident and stuff. Yeah, just good things. But um, no, no, she's still the same girl.